What's going on, everybody? One card, PSA Mail Day. One of the more expensive ones that I've sent in um, at the level I did. Most of you guys remember I picked this card up, I want to believe it was November of, uh, yeah, 2023. I was trying to think what year we're in. I don't know why. Crazy day at work. I, from that time frame up to about three weeks ago, I would just spend some of my free time trying to find information on this card, which was really hard. There was nothing on to it. It wasn't on a checklist from 2019, Goodwin Champions. I did find it uh, with the TCDB uh, website that there was one in 2020. My thoughts were, you know, released from, didn't make box out, pack out. Maybe they released it in 2020, kind of like what Panini's been doing with a lot of stuff. So. About three weeks ago, it was on a Sunday, a matter of fact, I sent Nat Turner an email, and within 30 minutes, I would say, during the football games, mind you, I believe it was during wildcard playoffs, I get a message back um, with who to reach out to at PSA, which I'm very grateful. I know a lot of people in some of these positions of like at PSA and SGC and all that take a lot of slack off of uh, some of the comments and that. But I can say this much, anytime I've ever asked for help, I've gotten it, and it's always been uh, very respectful both ways for me to them and them back, so I always do appreciate it. So I talked with the gentleman upper deck, gave him the big blurb of everything I've done. I'm not going to read it all to you guys, we'll be here for like 20 minutes. He sent me a message back saying they got to reach out to upper deck to validate the card was produced in 2019 and find out more on to it. It's like, okay. I said, I'm going to call customer service at Upper Deck up. It was kind of one of those, I don't want to say the word bland conversations, but it was like they didn't want to like give me a whole lot of details onto the card. And I don't know if it's because they didn't know or whatever it could be, but it's like, oh, it could be an Easter egg, could have been released in 2020, could be this, could be that. And I'm like, you have no information onto it? I said, well, I need to get it, you know, validated. Oh, you got to send something to QA Assurance. It could take up to six weeks. I'm like, I just want to get the card graded and slabbed. I don't want to say trading card, auto 10. That's just dumb. So about a week goes by and PSA still hadn't had anything back from Upper Deck. I decided to reach out to the Upper Deck um, president, Jason uh, Mashera. I don't know how quick he read my message after reaching out to him, but I could tell you that the, once he got it, he pushed it out immediately to who it needed to go to, and the validation from Upper Deck to PSA was done. And so, like, I, I sent that email at 2 o'clock, uh, or contacted um, Jason at 2 o'clock, and by... I can't remember, it was 5 or 6 p.m., so three to four hours later, I already had an email from PSA, good to go, set it off, it's in the system. So, sometimes, you know, you do have to jump through la uh, hoops and ladders and all that other fun stuff to get what you need to uh, get done. Maybe I just wasn't doing a good enough job explaining it to the people on the phones, and after I wrote it out in emails and, you know, stuff like that, I readjusted fire, recorrected it, made the flow a little bit better, could be it. All right, so card came back today, if you guys can see. And I'm going to pull it up. It's in a thick case. Look at that thing. You chuck this, man. I'm going to tell you what, it's somebody. You're going to hurt them. I'll pull the case. Oh, you guys can see it now. There you go. All I did was wanted to get it slabbed and auto-graded. Auto came back a 10. This, um, from what I've looked at, I could not find much information onto these cards. There is only like one from this set from 19, although this one was released in 2020, Goodwin Champs. There was like two Lucas, and there's two different Jordans, so one of each Jordan. I want to say it was one Tiger Woods and something else, but I could not find out. Was this supposed to be a one of one Was this supposed to be out of five, out of ten? All I could tell you is I spoke with the guy from Upper Deck um, that... Uh, Got the email push for me, or I guess you could say kind of got like chain mail to him after what I sent out to Jason Mashera. And he told me it's a super rare hit. And he doesn't like using those words because we have gone 
crazy with SP, SSP, SSSP, and everything forward. But he's like, this is very, very rare hit. So, I don't know. I could never find another one. I saw one Jordan like this. Then there's two different uh, serial numbers on them. Or two different serial, but two different, you know, card numbers. And I know what one sold for. But pretty cool to know that I got this, you know, in the old collection. But I wanted to share the story with you because a lot of people um, do, you know, beat up on Nat Turner and stuff like that there. But whenever it came like push come to shove and I've exhausted every resource I humanly can and asking questions on to this, it was nice to know that, you know, with the three times I've interacted with him on emails, he's always helped me out. Never like, oh, we'll just contact up or there, customer care. He's never done it. He's pointing me to an exact person to reach out to and, you know, get the stuff done. And I wouldn't reach out, you know, for something that was little like, I'm not even too sure, like a, some, you know, population 20,000, like Charizard card or, I don't know, Gavin Lux, Topps Rookie, something like that. This is just, I couldn't find anything on it. I asked around to people I've known for a while and, you know, just one of those things. So very grateful that they did help me out uh, from both ends with Nat Turner and Jason Mashera out of Upper Deck. They they really helped me out. So I finally got that piece done. I can now move on to getting other stuff set into PSA because this was the prime project. Before I moved on, I didn't know where the value would hold at on to this. Was I going to be upcharged? There were so many things going through my mind this time frame. But just want to share a little story time with you guys on to this. You know, you do your due diligence. You know, you can reach out to these guys. You know, I'm sure they get bugged all the time because it wasn't hard to find, you know, how to get in touch with Nat Turner or, well, I guess Jason Mashera, you kind of have to have an account at where how I got to get in touch with him. But... Yeah, I'm very grateful. So, pretty cool card. I'll probably have it on display with me uh, this summer when I'm up at the Midwest Monster. I'm not a LeBron James collector. So, to me, like, if, if a collector, a pure LeBron James collector came out to me and offered me something onto it, and I know where the ballpark figure is, I would let it go to the collector because that way I could get something, you know, for my own PC. But otherwise... It's not like somebody's going to come to my table and offer me 70-80% of what they perceive the value at. But a lot of research in this. Alright guys, that's it. I've been yeah, going way too long. I apologize. It's been one of them long days at work. I'm out. Catch you next video.